The Bronzeville Winery is set to open its doors this Wednesday, pushing to add a new chapter to the history of Bronzeville by creating a space filled with music, wine, food, and art. Executive chef Whitney McMorris and co-owner Cecilia Huff, a cuff, are here in our Studio 41 kitchen with more details. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so excited to have this you. This is such an exciting week. I mean, there's so much history in Bronzeville. Is that enhancing it more? Does it put some pressure on you guys? I think it makes the pressure, I think it, the pressure is a good type of pressure. Yeah. yeah. There's a really beautiful history of, of Brownsville and we're really excited to kind of write that next chapter with some of the key players in the neighborhood. All right, so you're bringing together what people always have, food and wine. Uh, how is it that your experience is a little bit different than people are used to or have come across before? Well, I think we really try to take notes from our sister company, uh, which is the Silver Room located mm -hmm. in Hyde Park, yep. mm -hmm. and really try to create an environment that is a culmination of creatives coming together to offer a multi-sensory experience. Mm -hmm. So I think we take a lot of cues from art. Our music programming is done by uh, DJ Ron Trent. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a multi-sensory experience that'll be not only food, not only wine, uh, but also a really great ambiance. A lot of familiar names. Yeah, that for you were sure. Just talking Absolutely. about. Mm -hmm. And since we're talking food, chef, what do you got going for us right now? Okay, so we have salmon or king salmon, crispy skin, hot pan. White pepper goes on fish, not mm -hmm. black. We have garlic, oh, we know. have thyme, butter, uh, king trumpet mushrooms, Ooh. white beech mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Yum. So right and now we have here? the, what? this is a sweet onion soubouille sauce. So it's mm -hmm. a traditional uh, French cream sauce, which mm -hmm. is caramelized onions that you keep white, so low and slow. Mm -hmm. uh, cream and butter. Ooh, oh, that sounds, that sounds delicious. So good. Tell us about what your, how you've created this menu, how you've designed the menu. So, so I, we know I vegan and... We have vegan options, vegetarian options. I built the menu so that each item can stand alone. Uh -huh. um, I don't want to be known for one thing, so I wanted each thing to shine on its own. So it's kind of all the crazy ideas I have in my head. Yeah, um, I like this crazy idea in the middle of that. Isn't that all oh, watermelon? Yes, this is my watermelon steak. So I wanted to have an actual uh, vegan option that didn't slip through the cracks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as we see oftentimes. So this is, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that dish. That sounds so cool. Yes. All right, and then those are sweet potatoes. These are Not sweet the traditional potato sweet potato fries. Those no, are ribbons. just thinly cut uh -huh. and uh, fried. Just ribbons, a little malt vinegar powder, and then this is my favorite dish. It's called the spring cut. Okay. So I wanted it to resemble the springtime ground, the soil, the mud, the uh, the flowers that grow, all the things like that. Mm -hmm. And then underneath is just a creamy seared grit cake. Oh, okay. yum. It, it's not, I mean, obviously there's a very uh, diverse menu. What are you guys gonna be offering at the restaurant in terms of events and, and things going on? Uh, as far as events, we have quite a few. We did our first event actually last ne week. We did a sneak peek of our wine club, our membership collective. Um, so we sold out of the membership collective in just less than 24 hours, which is Amazing. really exciting. But every single month we'll feature a different winemaker paired with food, music, and again, kind of an experience where we wanted to be able to share wine, but in a really fun environment. Uh, yeah, it, it, would it be an experience, an educational experience? Absolutely. It's, it's like, with all of these wonderful dishes she has created, I imagine you've got a, a wine that you will suggest Absolutely. for each meal. We will. So every we do our our, sommel, our sommelier is Derek C. Westbrook. He's done a really good job of creating of curating a really beautiful list that was has a little bit of something for everyone. People who are entry level wine drinkers, people who are you know wine drinkers for quite some time, and then people who are looking for something that they can't find ever, anywhere else. And so I think being able to have a pretty a diverse wine list will allow people to have a bunch of different experiences. Oh, okay. that's very cool. Okay, now what did you what did you put on here? Are these like chips? Yes. Don't don't miss this. Okay, okay. Okay. So crispy chips. We're gonna do some smoke rainbow trout roll. Ooh. And it's very buttery mm. and smoky. Okay. Yeah. So we have the fish. We have the soubouille. We have the mushrooms that are sear seared. This puree is a sweet potato puree. Uh, so now these little flowers are, are called begonia. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're very crisp. Pretty. Uh, sort of like a lemon without the sour, so okay. just really fresh. And then here we have pickled 
red pearl onion. Mmm. Wow. Right. How much weight have you gained? Oh, I know. Really? Right? It's we'll been, it's been a difficult job. But yeah. 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 yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. And then we have these beautiful purple ninja Ooh. radishes. Oh my gosh, oh, that wow. is gorgeous. Those are gorgeous. The food is just as pretty as it is, I imagine, delicious. So we got to taste yes. it to find out. And then, then she's got another layered head These here. little beautiful things are called uh, shamrock. Oh. Lucky shamrock. You can eat those. Absolutely. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, this is an, exper this is okay. an experience for the eye as yeah. well as the taste buds. All right, we'll, we'll, can we have those forks? We're gonna give it a try here before we... And in the meantime, we're gonna put up the information, yeah. or did we do that already, about the Bronzeville Winery. Uh, mm -hmm. It's opening this Wednesday. It's on 44th in Cottage Grove, right there in the heart of Bronzeville. So you guys gotta kinda check it out. They've uh, been waiting for you guys to... Wait, wait I gotta... Wait, you wanna, I wanna make sure check it. Check it out. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, I'm gonna take... Wait, you, take yeah, it. you gotta all really right. dig I know, in there. I gotta we gotta dig in, in there and get it off. <laughs> Thank you guys. This is yeah, fantastic. Okay,